Hi guys, it's Adam Woods. Saturday morning. What are you planned? What are you doing? So I labelled the title of this fishing a rice cake because uh, my coach the other day were talking about it and I just think it's one of the funniest videos I've seen like uh, especially to with bodybuilding because I mean it it's so far from truth but people believe it. It's social media, the 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 behind us and, and and it's just crazy that people would actually believe this. But if it's on social media, you read it enough, we are gonna believe it. It's not our fault. It's what we read. So fishing a rice cake guy, he um obviously he were a bodybuilder or trying to enter some competition. Uh and BBC, I think it was BBC, did some documentary on it and uh, is there saying I'll eat fish at 12 uh, then a rice cake at 3 o'clock I'll have fish and a rice cake <laughs> it just goes on like that it does like it's absolutely crazy because it's, it's nothing like that it's nothing like that but I have seen people do some crazy things now nah, I've seen like baby rice boiled chicken and, and we don't need to be doing stuff like that it's so far from truth so our perception of bodybuilding is like massively different of what it should be. So, but saying that, that guy did go on to win Mr. Northumbria, I believe, and he won quite a few other events. Check him out, Google him. And I'm telling you now, you want to see it him. He's obviously jumped, jumped up on summit because he's absolutely humongous now. But yeah, um, it's worth reading. It's worth reading. So yeah, uh, building muscle, probably gym. An hour max, I, I don't do any more. And that includes a shower as well, to be fair. So I get changed when I get there. I exercise for 45 minutes, have a shower, out. Three to four times a week, it's enough. But it's, you've got a progressive overload every week. So you need to be upping your weight week on week, week on week. Not massive amounts, just might be a kilogram one week, might be two kilograms another week, depending depend on each exercise. But you need a good training plan. And you do you do need a diet that's aimed at it. So you need to be having really high protein, um, which for fat loss or uh, muscle build, high protein. Either way, it works for both. It doesn't matter. So really, if you're trying to build muscle, the only two other macros we can change is carbs and fat. So your protein relatively stays the same. You're right, Clinton. Drop us a hello if you're watching. Uh, hashtag replay if you're watching later. So yeah. Progressive overload week on week for building muscle. Your protein relatively tested, same. Fats and carbs move up. Um, but yeah, you can go into nutrient timing and stuff like that. But I tend to have some carbs an hour for a train. Give myself as much energy as possible. Um, and I'll have quite a lot of carbs once I've finished training. That's all I need to know. I eat protein every three to four hour. That's it. Job done. We don't need to make it overwhelming. And people, like I said, that fish and rice cake guy, it's uh, it's just crazy. We don't need to do that. I have a lot of people ask me, um, can I give them a set diet plan? I said, no, you don't want a set diet plan. You don't need a set diet plan. So at the end of the day, just, we need to eat normal food. We like going out on social events and we like doing this, we like doing that and eating at restaurants, whatever. Whatever it is, we don't want set diet plans because don't help anybody and we might stick to it for a couple of weeks and then we're not going to stick to it after that because it's just not sustainable so i made some questions that have been asked recently if i can find them so well actually there were a few questions that i like to ask people so i just thought to myself obviously these lives are free i give some information on everyone whatever it might be but it's what you guys want to know so I sort of wrote a few questions down that you can ask yourselves and, and send me some comments. If you don't want to send it on here, send it on a DM, that's fine. So uh, what aren't you happy with? What's stopping you starting? Uh, if it could be an healthy lifestyle, exercise, whatever. Um, what barriers do we need to break down? And I say we because obviously I'll help. I've been through a lot. I've been in some dark places before. Uh, but I've always pulled my scent out. There's always a way around everything. Um, what keeps you awake at night? And what do you dread doing? I've had some people say, well, they, they dread summer because they dread it because they don't want to go clothes shopping or 
they get fierce and when they go clothes shopping or they don't want to admit the size they are or whatever it might might be or you might be dreading a social event that you haven't seen your friends for a long time and all of a sudden this wedding's coming up and you're thinking you're panicking about it so whatever it is there's a way around it i have opened up an eight week summer shred program if anybody's interested uh eight weeks make a change get ready for summer but do it balanced something you can sustain for future because that's the key if you go on juice plus let's just say juice, you go on juice plus right and this is what gets me what happens when you stop on that juice plus you're going to go back to where you were because you haven't got the knowledge to continue doing what you need to be doing that's where mine's different because i'll teach you how to look after yourself and then you can sustain it forever so it's got to be a win hasn't it guys it's got to be but yeah it's bank holiday plan to have an epic weekend get some walking in bit of exercise get some nice grub and just enjoy it guys at the end of the day because what else we got to enjoy at minute not much pubs are opening soon gyms are opening soon I'm sure we'll all be uh, venturing out at some point. But yeah, any questions you want on fitness, health, well-being, lifestyle, let me know what you need. Uh, then I can talk about them in these lives. And then what I can do is educate you all a little bit better than answering one-on-one -on -one questions. Uh, helps me and it helps you. That's all I've got, guys. So remember, if you're watching, say hello. Hashtag replay. Catch you later.